The Gnosis is the epitome of celestial magic and the connection of a deity to the realm above the sky. It's symbolic of true ascension and the purest form of God's power. And with the release of 2.2's new quest, we now have concrete evidence that Scaramouche 8, the Electro Archon's Gnosis. Alright, listen up! Today, I, Aster, will show you all the definitive proof that Scaramouche, aka the Balladeer, aka Ace Prototype, aka the previous six Harbinger, has num 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 the Electronosis into the vacuum of whatever the hell he is made out of. This is a very serious theory and one that requires a critical mind and true understanding of why Scaramouche decided to eat the Gnosis of the Electro Archon. Let's begin. Now, what do we really know about the Gnosis? Well, it's a chess piece. And it's supposed to be inside of your body. And how do you get it inside of your body? Huh? It never says! But all we know is that it's in the chest cavity. Now, we can see that Scaramouche stabbed himself with the Gnosis, but that could mean he's accidentally stabbed himself because he's a little stupid and now he's dying in a ditch, so we can't have that. So the best way to get the Gnosis inside your body is to consume and digest it, like a three-year-old ignoring the choking hazard warning on your Legos. But wait, there's more. One is the theme of the 2.2 puppet quest. Here we have Shikataisho that has several connections to Scaramouche since he's also a doll little thing and was created by divine magic. The guy who made him who used to become an Aharunosuke, who used to be friends with the Kitsune Saigu, I think. Who is the Kitsune Saigu friends with? The Electro Archon! So... Irregardless. Shiki Taishu was also a puppet created as a weapon, and Scaramouche allegedly, when found by the Fatui, was morphed into a weapon. His name, Kunikuzushi, comes from the word Country Destroyer. Shiki Taishu even has a helmet that kinda looks like Kunikuzushi's bowl cut mullet abomination, and he's purple and a threat to society. So Shiki Taisho lost his memories, and what does he do to get it back? He eats his previous replicas a la cannibalism style, no questions asked. Yes, he merges with it, but he still technically consumes it, and he doesn't really have a mouth, so we can let our imagination run wild. So we know that eating equals consuming power equals put power in body. This is obvious clear symbolism that Scaramouche has to consume the Gnosis and the best way to consume nutrients like a normal human being is through eating. But wait, there's more. Another sussy character in this story quest was Paimon. She made notions that memories equals power and we know that she's actually a de- And what does Paimon like to do? Eat. Eat people, eat food, eat children. She has more than one stomach, so mortal food will never satiate her. But you know what would satiate the divine entity if they eat? A Gnosis! But wait, there's more. Scaramouche is connected to another character in the lore, which is the Raiden Shogun puppet and Beelzebub. Beelzebub is one of the most popular demons in the Ars Goetia, similar to Baal, but did you know that Beelzebub is the demon of another thing? That's right, Beelzebub is amongst the demons of the seven deadly sins, and Beelzebub is the demon of gluttony. And you know what's with gluttony? Food. And you know what's food? The Electro Archon's nose. But wait, there's more. Scaramouche is a puppet and therefore has no concept of food or what's edible and isn't. For all we know, the man also eats Onikapatos and spiders just like another dumbass we know. Especially since he's out in the wild. Maybe he's like, hey, that's stupid in the kitchen and that's why he's considered the most hated Fatui Harbinger. So to him, how does he know that he doesn't actually have to eat the Electronosis to gain its power? He has no idea how a Gnosis works, but he would have seen other people eat things and maybe hear that to get more powerful and healthy, you need to eat fruits and vegetables. I don't know, does the Fatui have a dietitian on standby? I'm sure at least three of them need to eat at some point. Point is that Scaramouche would have this brilliant idea that eating things, especially glowy chess pieces from the skies above, would give you the nutrients, just like how we get our vitamins as regular, boring, visionless human beings. So with that, I conclude the decisive theory that Scaramouche, after going rogue with the Gnosis and disappearing from the face of the earth to never be seen again by both the Fatui and the player base, ate the Gnosis, ascended to Celestia, and accidentally pissed off the unknown god and died. The end. <laughs>